The photoelectric effect is a phenomena in which electrons are ejected from the surface of a metal when light is incident on it. These ejected electrons are called photoelectrons. It is important to note that the emission of photoelectrons and the kinetic energy of the ejected photoelectrons is dependent on the frequency of the light that is incident on the metal's surface. The process through which photoelectrons are ejected from the surface of the metal due to the action of light is commonly referred as photoemission. The photoelectric effect occurs because the electrons at the surface of the metal tend to absorb energy from the incident light and use it to overcome the attractive forces that bind them to the metallic nuclei. An illustration detailing the emission of photoelectrons as a result of the photoelectric effect is shown in this animated diagram. Now let's see what is photovoltaic effect. The photovoltaic effect is the generation of voltage and electric current in a material upon exposure of light. It is a physical and chemical phenomena. In either case, light is absorbed causing excitation of an electron or other charge carriers to a higher energy state. The main distinction is that the term photoelectric effect is now usually used when the electron is ejected out of the material, usually into a vacuum, and the photovoltaic effect used when the excited charge carrier is still contained within the material. In either case, an electric potential or the voltage is produced by the separation of charges and the light has to have a sufficient energy to overcome the potential barrier for excitation. This physical essence of the difference is usually that photoelectric emission separates the charges by ballistic conduction and photovoltaic emission separates them by diffusion. But some hot carriers photovoltaic device concepts blurred this distinction. Now let's see the photovoltaic effect in solar cell. The collection of light generated carriers does not by itself give rise to power generation. In order to generate power, a voltage must be generated as well as a current. Voltage is generated in solar cell by a process known as photovoltaic effect. The collection of light generated carriers by the PN junction causes a movement of electrons to the N type side and holes to the P type side of the junction. Under short circuit conditions, there is no build up of charge as the carriers exit the device as light generated current. The short circuit and the potential voltage and barriers, everything related to the solar cell, I will discuss in detail later. The electrons of the semiconductor material are joined together by the covalent bond. The electromagnetic radiations are made of small energy particles called photons. When the photons are incident on the semiconductor material, then the electrons become energized and starts emitting. The energized electron is known as the photoelectrons and the phenomena of emission of electrons is known as photoelectric effect. The working of the photovoltaic cell depends on the photoelectric effect. The photovoltaic effect is closely related to the photoelectric effect. So this is the difference between photoelectric effect and the photovoltaic effect.